Hey everybody, welcome to No German News. It's Adam 22 here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. So first things first, Kodak Black was sentenced to probation Wednesday for assaulting a teenage girl in a South Carolina hotel room. According to reports, Kodak was initially charged with rape, but accepted a deal and pled guilty to first degree assault at the Florence County Courthouse. Although he faces a 10 year suspended prison sentence, he won't have to go to prison on the charge as long as he completes 18 months of probation. The victim in the case watched the plea online as Kodak addressed her and the court. I apologize this happened and I am hopeful that we can all move forward. Later, he tweeted that after five years, he and the victim both wanted to get the case over with, adding, I ain't have to come off no money. Y'all be wanting an ant to go out sad. Homie wishing bad on a real ant. I never seen it work. My heart goes out to all the girls out here getting raped and shit for real, but I ain't did that shit, man. Gesturing, not okay. Hashtag, I'm too gangsta. Hashtag, too fly for that. The assault happened in 2016 when Kodak was in Florence for a concert performance. According to prosecutors, the girl claims that Kodak attacked her at a hotel room after the show. He pushed her into a wall and onto a bed before assaulting her, allegedly biting her breast and neck. Kodak has denied the allegations. Kodak had previously been sentenced to 46 months in prison on federal weapons charges, but Trump commuted his sentence on the last day of his presidency. Because the sexual assault case was reportedly brought on the state level, it was ineligible for a presidential pardon. His team issued a statement clarifying the plea he took in court. On behalf of Kodak Black's legal team, today Bill Capri took a plea to the legal charge of assault. Under the terms of Kodak's new probation, he cannot use drugs, drink alcohol, or possess guns. We were all wondering what the fuck was gonna happen with this case for so long, because I remember hearing about this like a million years ago, and uh, it was kind of bizarre how it, it really never like got to court. I mean, I think he had to miss courts, court dates previously because he was already in prison for other stuff. But I mean, I'm glad that he could put this behind him. Unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like it resolves anything for anyone who wants to know what actually happened in this situation, which I'm not really sure how many people there are like that at this point, because it seems like if you're a Kodak Black fan, I mean, do you even care? It doesn't seem like his fans really care whether this happened or not. They're just happy he's out. And I just found out on the uh, No Jumper show Tuesday. You had to uh, tell me about this because I didn't even know. Because um, it was so long ago that everybody forgot. And, uh, you know, you just never heard anything about it. And I mean, when you're getting a, a pardon from Trump, you know, whatever, whatever he's doing on a legal level, if you can convince Donald Trump to give you a pardon, and then if you could get, instead of like 20 years, you could get like 18 months probation. I mean, he's got some good lawyers and he, he knows what he's doing. Um, like you said, at least he put this behind the man, and now he can um, do some things for the community like he's been doing. Hopefully, he don't go back to jail. We don't want to see Kodak back in jail. Drop some hot music, man. Stay out of jail, and don't bite no titties, man. Did you see the Psycho Bob, his affiliate, that he just recently like dropped a video with and who kind of looks like him and looks like an absolute Florida psychopath that he got shot the other day? I don't know who Psycho Bob is, but it sounds like Slideshow Bob, and I'm thinking that the hair is probably the same. I think you're thinking of Sideshow Bob, not Slideshow <laughs> Bob. But uh, yeah, he just got shot, and the funniest thing about Psycho Bob claiming that he didn't get shot is that they literally have footage of him coming out of the fucking ambulance, giving the finger to the news crew, <laughs> and then he goes on Instagram Live and says, I, I didn't get shot, and, and mad people are believing him. That's hot. That's hot. Next story. Famous Dex is being sued for allegedly stealing someone's luxury timepiece and then making up a story about getting robbed to cover his tracks. A man claims Famous Dex lied about getting robbed after supposedly stealing his watch. According to TMZ, while meeting up in person, the watch owner claims that Dex agreed to promote his luxury watch on social media, but somehow drove off with it instead, then ghosted him. In the lawsuit file, the guy states when Dex finally contacted him, he said the watch had gotten stolen, along with thousands of dollars in cash, claiming he was robbed at gunpoint by four men, as we reported last month. The watch owner says he was with Dex while reporting the robbery to the police. Dex was handcuffed and detained for a while but never charged. The alleged watch owner believes Dex is lying about getting robbed, claiming he saw the watch on Dex's Instagram and believes he tried to sell it to a jeweler. He's seeking at least $90,000 in damages. So, uh, uh, famous Dex. I mean, but this is a, a hustle as old as time. Like, rappers love to get some free jewelry from a jeweler rock it for a while and then you got to give it back this is a deal that a lot of jewelers will engage in and i'll let you hold this crazy ass chain for a week you're gonna rock it you're gonna tag me a couple times and then i get it back all the dumbass fans are thinking oh this guy got a new chain every week he's fucking crazy he's, he's awesome in reality these rappers are uh you know a lying to you and then b 
taken off with the jewelry if that's possible. If, if there's any way that they can get away with it, they're going to dip off with the jewelry. I don't know, though. T to me, this guy sounds like, you know, unless you have something in paperwork, then what is your case here? Like, I, I back Dex on this because it seems like a good scam. How are you going to prove that he actually has the watch? Well, according to him, he's seen it on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was stolen. <laughs> but hey, a lot of watches look similar. There ain't no way that from an Instagram nah. post you're going to be able to prove that it's the same exact watch and not a similar one, right? Unless, unless you know, you could see the serial number zoomed in on Instagram, you ain't going to be able to tell. Jeweler, man, it sounds like you got a lot of money. Take that L, man, and fuck it. It, it's, it occurs to me that, like, what do you think that Famous Dex is jewelry cosign is going to do for your brand in the year 2021 like i'm sorry i just don't think that there's a lot of people basing their jewelry purchasing decisions off what famous dex is rocking on instagram live at this point in time i'm sorry but it doesn't seem likely bro i'm still tripping out you see they say you see him on instagram i wonder if he got screenshots and try to send it to the police imagine the judge looking at that and being like uh sir we, we really when cannot like seventy thousand yeah. rolexes out there we cannot confirm that this same. is your watch sir okay youtube do us a big big favor like comment and subscribe and we'll be back real real soon appreciate y'all all right bro so many people told